I didn't see all of the match against Kumatora, but you know, like Ganondorf, if you just get a really good forward smash, it's gonna kill super duper early. Um, also, I think Ike is actually pretty solid. He might not be as good as the other sword characters, just because he's slower. But, I mean, he's still a sword character, and packs a wallop. Let's see. Oh, another Inkling player. So, it's really lonely here on commentary if anyone wants to join me. Okay, Mars is doing a really good job just, oh, boxing out um, Axiom. I know also that his neutral B is really good for an edge guard tool when they're trying to go for a corner. Um, if he can pop them right before they touch the ledge, it's pretty devastating. Especially if they're high enough, they can kill off the top. It doesn't spike, though. And, uh, yeah, so he's just... Oh, that's brutal. So, Axiom trying to get some combos started. I know that Inkling is going to be able to have quite a few things since... He's pretty heavy, but Ike's back air is just ridiculously quick. He's getting all this ink on him. Let's see if he can actually make anything happen. He's in 97 too, so. But, oof. Okay, back in neutral. And, ah. Oh, this is looking rough. Oh, faked him out. That's actually surprisingly difficult to punish, the side B. Um, not to mention, it's really difficult to gauge where they land. So even if you... And even if they are able to land, it's still really difficult to at least punish. Wow, yeah. Ike just has a lot of hit-like-a-truck moves. And because they're swords, they are very big trucks. Man, it's really lonely without anyone to talk with. So I think he's going to need to get this quick fail. Otherwise, he's just going to rack up all this damage. He's going to get juggled above. Oh, uh, can back throw kill at this percent? Mm, guess he didn't try. So, oh, also I'm surprised that he's not throwing bombs. Threatening bombs with Inkling is absolutely a huge pain to deal with. I don't think it matters who you are, but oh, well now he's throwing bombs. 201%. He's really making this stock worth all its money. Ah! There it is. Oof. Yeah, I can just threaten with a bunch. His, his fare is now actually... It's quicker than it has ever been. And his nair is still enormous. And you can combo off of it. So, he's actually really threatening on the air. Not as much on the ground. Just because all of his ground moves are really slow oh he's got all this ink going on it's possible that he can take the stock and he's only at 62 so if he can he's going in Ooh. oh that could have been actually really big it <laughs> it's weird that he's just side being on the ground it feels trolly oh damn that killed hey you want to join pelka pelka oh okay pelka have fun getting ready emotionally instead of watching the competition I find going to the bathroom or something. Well, um, as far as we can tell, it seems that Mars is en route to being PR number one in math. Would you like to join? Commentary? Okay. Have a good day. Enjoy the bathroom. So yeah, uh, Mars, as far as I know, I think he was PR number one for Smash 4 in New England. Um, I don't know about the rest of New England, and I don't really know about the rest of Massachusetts besides the sort of general Boston area, but Mars is doing really well. I think he, he took, he took the first regional at PGR, uh, Push the Limit. Oh, looks like he's given up Inkling for Krom. Um, I think Krom is, actually, well, here's the thing, because both Krom and Ike are able to counter each other. Uh, on their up Bs. And it's funny because I was actually just doing a rotation with a Krom and an Ike player. So you might see these two people just down B each other's recovery. Ike does at least have the option to side B. Um, oof. Yeah, he's just... Both of these characters can also just juggle for days. 
but Krom is also better on the ground, so we'll see how this goes. Ooh! Well, taking turns juggling. I don't know if uh, how effective these two can make things happen off of grabs, but yeah, right now it's actually it's pretty dead even. Both of them are a kill percent. Huh. Yeah, so I think... Wow, okay. I was going to say that I think side B for Ike is going to be a lot more punishable if used on the ground. Earlier, he didn't actually give it a shot, but when Ike is recovering in the air with it, it's really hard to deal with. So, if Axiom can close the stock out... Oh, there it is! Now we're even again. This is maybe actually a, a better pick. I think Inkling is better than Krom, but maybe not in this matchup. It's nice that you can have a lot of really good characters, but also have none of them be super busted. Yeah, just a lot of juggling. They're going to be doing a lot of aerials. Well, actually, not as much for Krom, but Ike is just going to be flailing his fares and nares. Wow. That's... He only did 10%. Oh, man. Mars is making look Ike actually look really nimble. It's kind of terrifying. And that shield drop into up air. He's looking for something. Juggling. Oof. Oh, if you can get him off stage, he's going to... Oh, he didn't counter! He's not, he hasn't practiced the countering. Like we have just been doing for the last 25 minutes at my setup. Oh yeah. I think if he just stayed on stage and just waited for that up B, he would have killed Krom like immediately. Likewise, if, ooh. Yeah, that, that is actually really good for recovering. Unless you're dealing with a cape. Oh, backwards. I think, uh, yeah, Axiom's gonna have to. Uh, he's gonna just need to get a good fare. Oh! Yeah, he. Uh, wow. That was that. It's, uh, lonely on commentary. If you would like to join me, not that anyone can hear me. Winners, finals, Mars versus Pelka. All right, so... It's